both of us are wearing this VR goggles and I can actually see you and have this conversation. So your head motions and all the aspects of your personality will come through automatically in VR because the VR headset can track you. But what's interesting is if I see the avatar and if I know that that's, that's Leslie, it has to capture your likeness, otherwise it won't look like you, right? Uh, so the, the conversation won't be meaningful unless it's actually, it, it looks like you. We also see a lot of applications in messaging. So the kids of today are very comfortable sending, you know, text messages with emojis and all that, but they are not personal at all, right? So imagine like if you have 3D selfies that you can uh, customize and, and program your expressions, uh, all the, the people, the way people will start communicating will be through you know, 3D avatars that actually you can personalize and customize. And kids will have a lot of fun doing that. One of the biggest problems in computer graphics is to make things look real, right? And, and so my thesis was, hey, if you want to make something look real, that is nature. You go and look at nature. Same problem in robotics, same problem in computer graphics is borrow from nature. And my answer to that was look at video of nature. Right, and so you try to make your simulations match nature by looking at video and matching things. So we already have an API running on the clouds and, and we are working with pilot partners uh, this quarter and, and we hopefully have some announcements soon. Uh, but uh, yeah, you know, in the next uh, quarter or so we'll actually, you know, we want to sort of work with a few big partners right now who already understand 3D so that way, you know, we can focus still on packaging our technology and reach a large audience that way. The long-term vision of the company is, you know, sort of virtual teleportation. So, you know, we want to sort of, um, you know, make sure that people don't travel that much. You know, you know, you can actually have meaningful meetings in VR. And so, you know, think of any time you are doing digital communication virtually. You you want yourself or in some fashion in five years or four years time, we will actually have this holo, uh, you know, holographic version of people. Uh, where you know uh, you can actually see a hologram of me. Uh, you know, you're wearing the AR headset. There'll be a hologram of uh, of me, and you know, and it will capture all the nuances of the person. So it's not that far.